No candidate received more than half of all the first preference votes cast in the election. The two candidates who received the highest number of preference votes remain in the contest. They are Sadiq Aman Khan and Sean Bailey. I will now announce the number of second preference votes cast for each of these two candidates. Sadiq Aman Khan received 192,313 second preference votes. Added to his total first preference votes, this gives Sadiq Aman Khan a total of 1,206,034 votes. Sean Bailey received 84,550 second preference votes. Added to his total first preference votes, this gives Sean Bailey a total of 977,601 votes. I therefore declare Sadiq Aman Khan elected as the Mayor of London. I will now ask Sadiq Aman Khan, the Mayor of London, to come to the stage to give a short speech, and I will afterwards ask Sean Bailey to speak. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm deeply humbled by the trust Londoners have placed in me to continue leading the greatest city on earth. I promise to strain every sinew to help build a better and brighter future for London after the dark days of the pandemic and to create a greener, fairer and safer city where all Londoners get the opportunities they need to fulfil their potential. I'm proud to have won an overwhelming mandate today. I want to thank everyone who voted for me, Labour voters and non-Labour voters. And also want to speak directly to every Londoner who didn't vote for me this week. I'll never ignore your voice, your concerns, or your worries. I'll always be a mayor for all Londoners, working to improve the lives of every single person in this city. The results of the elections around the UK show that our country, and even our city, remain deeply divided. The scars of Brexit are yet to heal, a crude culture war is pushing us further apart. There's a growing gap between our cities and towns, and economic inequality is getting worse, worse, both within London and between different parts of our country. So as we now seek to confront the enormity of the challenge ahead, and as we endeavour to rebuild from this pandemic, we simply must use this moment of national recovery to heal those damaging divisions. I often talk about the different experiences I've lived during my life and how they've shaped my identity. I do so because these experiences have forged my cast iron belief that there's far more that unites us than divides us. I grew up on a council estate a working-class boy, a child of immigrants. But I'm now the Mayor of London. I'm a Londoner through and through. This city is in my blood. But I'm also a patriotic Englishman and a Brit who's proud to represent this nation's great capital. The experiences I've had through my life have shaped my belief that we all have a responsibility to do everything we can to build the bridges that bring us together rather 
than the walls that can only drive us further apart. This virus doesn't care whether you live in London or Liverpool, whether you're a Brexiteer or a Remainer, or what you, what you think it means to be woke. We're only defeating it by acting together and by helping each other. So now we must capture and harness that spirit of unity and cooperation to build a better and brighter future. And it's in this spirit I promise to lead London over the next three years, building bridges between the different communities in our city, building bridges across cultural, social and class divides, building bridges between London and the rest of the country to ensure London can play its part in a national recovery, and building bridges between City Hall and the government. Because we must all work together to build a brighter, greener and more equal future for London and for our entire country after the pandemic. It's not a competition between areas. People without a good job or living in poverty need help wherever they are. I want to finish by saying thank you. Thank you to my wife Sadia and my family for your endless support. It's been a tough five years and I know how lucky I am to have you. Thank you to the returning officer, Mary Harpley, at your team and those across London for delivering this election under incredibly difficult circumstances. Thank you to the other candidates in these elections who put forward a positive vision for our city. And congratulations to those who've been elected to the London Assembly. Thank you to my supporters for all your hard work phoning Londoners, delivering leaflets and knocking on doors. You have been brilliant. And most importantly, thank you to my fellow Londoners for the trust you've placed in me once again today. It's a privilege to serve. Thank you.